When there's an emergency, you dial 911. This week is dedicated to, to those on the other end of the call. Yeah, News 3's Madeline Parker has more on the people who answer your call. 911, what's your emergency? Before first responders or police can respond to a crisis, it has to go through a telecommunicator. The communicators are the first people that people speak to when they call for any type of assistance they may need. They are the calm voice that people hear uh, on the other end of the telephone. And during National Telecommunicators Week, departments across the country recognize the work put in by the voice behind the calls. Without telecommunicators, we would never be able to be responsive to our community and others that are in need and need those emergency services right away from police and fire. I'll be out it. Last year, the Carbondale Police Department received over 20,000 911 calls. A full vehicle 1050 with blue leakage ships 915 West Main. One of those voices behind the calls is Christina Strobel who has been a telecommunicator for four years. It is rewarding because you help someone on their worst day um, and whether they say they appreciate it or not, you feel that in your heart that you've helped someone. Terminal fire, possible electrical fire, the Women's Center 610 South Thompson Street. While Strobel and other telecommunicators continue to direct calls to help those in need, the Carbondale PD wants to take time to recognize their hard work. The telecommunicator we have right now are very dedicated and very committed to their jobs, and we appreciate everything they do. In Carbondale, Madeline Parker, News 3. A lot of dispatch centers need people, including Carbondale's. We have more information on WSILTV.com.